Ross, get out of the way. Get you guys, this right here. And today we are back with Emily is Away 2, episode 2. So, well, chapter 2, we're going to get straight on into it. Um, I've taken in some suggestions. By that I mean listening to Census Fail and Against Me. Census Fail is definitely a band I like better than Against Me. Apologies to all the Against Me fans, but it's just what I like, and I'm sorry. What you gonna do? It's something I love better, and I just apologize, I guess. So, my microphone is messing me up. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. We're gonna play. Um, This is, again, second episode. Oh, Scrubs. Casino Royale. Black Parade. I know them. RSM! Um, that's the Pasifarian, uh, one, I think. I don't know the rest. Uh, The Wire I've heard of. I also unlocked, um, Flowey and Five Nights at Freddy's. As well as Mark Jack and all of that. So, might stick to picking one of these, though. And I'm gonna go with Casino Royale. Census fail, please. Haven't seen any of these movies, so I'm going to say Barat. And the best is yet to come. Oh, I want to change that. I don't like that. Ew, air profile. Census fail. The departed. Yeah, and the best is yet to come. Cool. Aussie, mate. you seen a royale. Awesome. Hey. And we're going to quick tab and just be like... Hi. Hey, Jara, what's up? Uh, just... N Ooh. Just some homework. You? Which I probably should be doing. Oh, well. I'm good. Uh, how are you? Jara, how are you? <laughs> Answer it straight away. I'm good. How are you? So, I remember we're talking to two girls. Emily, which is this one, and Evelyn, which is the other girl. Uh, not too much. Gone home from Kay's a while ago. Uh, how is she? Oh, that sounds fun. How is she? I don't want to sound like too much new. Same. Do you know what today is? Is it your birthday? Oh no, is it your birthday? No, it's Friday the 13th. Happy Friday the 13th. We don't celebrate the here in Australia, so that's a bit awkward for me. So... There we go. Bit better for you all. Shiz. My mom called me for dinner. I'll be back, okay? Talk to you later. Okay, bye. I'll see you later. Well, happy Friday the 13th at LOL. Shut your eyes. I'll spin the big chair. What are you going to do to celebrate? Nothing. I don't know. Nothing. Are you? Again, we don't celebrate Friday the 13th here. It's an American thing. Hello? No. Lol, no, I'm just joking. I'm so happy it's for I like my it's like my favorite season. I mean I like all seasons, but spring's my favorite. If I had to pick part of me. Are you dressing up for Halloween? Uh hell yeah. This year I'm dressing up as Jack Skeleton. Like I'm not even joking, I'm dressing up as Jack Skeleton. Awesome sauce, me too. Jackie's having a big Halloween party. I'm looking for a costume now. What do you think I should go as? The stereotypical sexy nurse, a witch, or Alice in Wonderland. Let's go for Alice in Wonderland. How about Alice in Wonderland? Something different, you know. Something cool and fun. What? No way. This is so Australian. <laughs> I was actually trying to decide between Alice and... <coughs> My whole body just... <laughs> Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. I love Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh my god. I dressed up as her last year. 
My heart is racing. Like, look at this. Just. Oh, I just was her last year. Ah, oh, I, I, I. So, Sally, duh. I think I like the Sally costume. I like Sally costume most. Well, duh, Sally's like the best. I'm just gonna. Sorry. Uh. Jackie's pie is always crazy. I can probably expect some more drunk text. Lucky me. Just trying to spell. Just trying to spell better this time. I'm trying to see if I can find my Sally picture. But I don't remember what year it was. Which is a problem. So I'm just like. Eh. Sorry. I don't know how I understood any of them. I'm that good. You know, just that good. Lol, like this one? Oh god, please don't make me actually decipher one. OMG! We think... Doing Jackie's roof... High now and... Never... The stars never look so beautiful. We're on Jackie's roof and the stars never look so beautiful. The stars never look so beautiful, I think. It's like question mark. What year was I dressed up? Hey, maybe you could just come supply a drink. Nah, I'm okay. I'm not a huge drinker. Nah, I don't like drinking. Good on you. No one should be drinking. No one. Why is it the only pictures I can find of me of a witch? Do you, like, care if people around you are drinking? I mean, I don't really care if people around me are drinking. I just personally don't like to drink. So, people can do whatever. I'm not a fussy human being. I'm not a fussy soul. People can drink around me as much as they want. I don't care because I'm not a fussy human with a fussy soul. Simple as that. Uh, you should totally come out to party with them. Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. I mean, I don't know, to be honest. I'm kind of a bit... Meh. The only rule is you have to dress up. What would you go as? Oh, I could go as Jack Skeleton, but that's a bit like a couple's thing. And that's a bit like... Mm, a bit difficult, I think. So... What could I say? Sorry, if you can tell from my distracted face, I'm still trying to find... The... Like, Sally picture of me. But it's so hard to find. Why? Like, it's legitimately flushing me. I really want to show you guys. But all I can find is me and my witch one. Or me at the Christmas pageant. Or just random pictures of me. And I'm like, getting really frustrated. Because I want to show you, because I thought it looked really, really cool, to be honest. But... Well, I guess my computer don't want me to show you. Which is, again, frustrating. Oh, never mind. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to say I don't know because I'm not going to say Jack Skeleton because I'll be like, we can be a couple. Don't want that. No, thank you. Don't worry, you'll have time to. I'll add you to the event page. Oh, wait, are we even friends on Facebook? Really, face note. Uh, we... Uh, don't know. I don't know. No. Then frame me when you get a chance. Yo. Really? They made a fake Facebook and everything? Like, I gotta say, mad props to the creators, man. Look at this. This is amazing into the Halloween party through quotes through movies and for Christmas I'm liking you girl more and more interest hanging out concerts being unpredictable cool Evelyn Jackie and our friends Evelyn and Steve and our friends and you're single cool Halloween party yo plan to attend the Halloween party 
Yeah, lol, Jackie's a tool. You you put census fail quote in your info. Seriously, you're like the coolest person I know. I mean, you know, what can I say except you're welcome. I found them all by myself. No, you didn't, you little. Oh yeah, I think I remember it a bit different. So what are you up to? Uh, nothing really. I'm just, you know, chatting to you, chatting to some friends. What up, friends? How you doing? Ah, uh, just listening to music. So this fella just came out with a new album. Uh, any good? Or really, is any of it good? Don't ask me any census fail questions. I'm gonna. It's all the good. Me with Nate wants to battle. Not gonna do that. This song and the next one are my favorite. <laughs> it's really good. This is really good. Even if I haven't listened to it, I'd lie to my friends away and be like, it's really good. I'm so glad you like the same music as me. Seriously, you're pretty swell. Swell. You're swell too. Like, who says swell? Awesome sauce. That's what I'm naming the title of this, I think. Awesome sauce. I like talking to you. Ah. Yeah, I'm glad we're friends. Sorry if the like typing is so loud. I'm really glad we sat next to each other in history last year. Although I feel like there's a lot about you I still don't know about. Stuff like what? Dot. 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 <laughs> Just random stuff. Hey, let's play a game. 21. I get to ask you a question then about whatever, and then you get to ask. Uh, ask away. And just ask whatever comes to mind first. If you take this long, it will just be my turn again. Are you ready? <laughs> Born ready. I'll start with the easy one. What? Do you remember my favorite kind of movie? Uh, uh, horror. It was horror, right? Why are we gonna write drama? Yep, I knew you would remember. Now it's your turn. Ask me anything. Um. Hmm, what's your favorite animal? I was gonna write favorite fan. No. Drink break. Make sure to keep hydrated. Cats. Kins are pretty much the cutest thing ever. Dogs are. Let's see, have you ever snuck out of your house? Nope, because I ain't no Rebel Wilson. My parents would kill me if I did that. No, my parents would be like, So, you want to jump out of a two-story building? Good luck with that. Your turn. Uh, skipped any classes. Have you ever skipped class? I haven't, personally. But I still have uni yet, so who knows. <laughs> yeah, hello, but I only want to have a good reason. Alright. Do you have a crush on anyone? Not really. Not really, I don't think. By the way, the character I'm going to go for is Emily. Oh, really? I'm not sure I believe that. Do you have feelings for anyone? And if yes, who? Okay, so I did the whole 3-2 push. This thing always hits first. Unfair, that's like two questions. It's a mini follow up. That is illegal. Thank you very much. You're a cheater, but answer both. Feelings, I don't know. Maybe. It's kind of complicated. Uh, complicated, like in a good way? I'm trying to make it the sound is not as visible to you guys, like the typing, but. I don't know. I don't know. We were. The yeah, this person had some history together, like history class or like history. Like the class history? Yeah, because that's what I want to know. No, like as in relationship history. Oh, Steve Myers, you know him, right? Uh, Swanky87? This dude. Yeah, you guys fit. Look at that. Yeah, me and him dated for a lot of my sophomore and junior year. I got pretty serious and I definitely think I love him. Good on you. 
Then he was going off to college, so he broke up with me last winter. Are you okay? That's rough. You okay? Oh yeah, it's just more confusing than anything. Girl, you know I'm here if you ever need. Like, just come. Like, I can get you here with him. It's just weird. It's just weird, though. What do you mean by getting over him? I mean, we're over. So you want a rebound person. But the feelings still hang around. When I worked, we were a really good couple. Was he your first boyfriend? I mean, yeah, my first real boyfriend. I guess hold on to your first real boyfriends? I wouldn't know. It was like the first person I have had it with. How is moving on? How is moving on going? Like I said, I've never had a boyfriend, so... I mean, I had a fling this past summer. But nothing is serious to see, obviously. A fling with who? Matatap? Brian, I don't think you know him. We fought around, but like it was fun, not serious, you know. Yeah, I get it. Jai, if you don't mind me asking, have you ever had it? Hell to the freaking no! No, I have not. I'm 16. No, thank you. No, thank you. I would shoot myself before doing that. I understand. Like, don't worry. Yeah, us versus love and all that. I get it. Not all of people know, but me and Steve had this thing planned for the future. So big, felt like a deal. What do you mean? It's gonna sound really stupid. Don't judge me. Of course not. Why would I judge you? Why do people think I'm gonna judge you? I'm not gonna judge you. Unless you ask me to judge you. I thought we were gonna go to the same college together. And then, I don't know, maybe get married, have it for family, whatever. This is the thing. We're so ingrained to go to university, go and get a degree, have a job, get married, have kids, grow old, retire, die. Why can't we mix it up a bit? Why can't we go have a job for ever? Who says we have to get married? Who says we can't have kids before we get married? Who says that you got to have kids all together? Who says that you can't be with a boyfriend or a girlfriend for the rest of your life. You know, who says you have to go to uni at all? You can do whatever you want. It's your life. It's your destiny. You do what you want. Don't let the engrainment of centuries and centuries of people from your background and your history tell you that you need to follow the same plan. It's a basic plan that everyone follows. But it's up to us if we choose to follow it or if we choose to change it. Because we can change that plan. We can do whatever the hell we want. We can get married and have kids. Or we can have a family and not get married. Or we can just go to university and be a workaholic for the rest of your life. Or you can just work and don't want to get married because you don't like people. You get married to any gender you want, any race you want, any person or thing you want. It is up to you what you do. It is your life. You choose what you want. And I don't care what you do. And no one else should care. No one should give a goddamn care in the world. Because shockingly, it's your life. You do what you want with it. It is as simple as that. And if people get mad at you because you're doing your own thing, then I'm sorry. But they need to learn to grow up. And they need to learn that what you're doing is up to you. There's obviously going to be some things like... Parents, they think they know what's best for you. But parents, hear me out. I got a lot of older viewers watching. And I know that it's going to be hard for you guys to hear this. But you need to let go. Us younger generation are creating new things. We're doing new things. For some people, this is their job, what I'm doing. And that's a scary new world for some of you. But you also need to learn that the more and more we grow up and adapt and change, the more this, this is going to change. It might be just go to uni it could be 
just get married. It could be just have a family or it could be none of the above. So, to me, this sounds normal. It's not wrong to want something. Because that's what my basic plan is, to go to university. To live my life, to get married, have a family. I, you know, I've always wanted kids and I've always wanted, as a, I always wanted to name one of them Romeo and one Rosella and I wanted to have more than one child. But that's not my objective right now. My objective is to get through high school and then it's to get through uni and then it's to find a job and then it's to do whatever the hell I want at that time period. Not what my past has told me to do, but what my future wants me to do. So now that I've had that giant rant for like, I don't know, probably like a half an hour. Well, it feels like, like five minutes. We're going to continue on with the game. I just feel standing now thinking about it, But I think that's why it's been so hard to get over the... Would you ever go back to him? Or would you? If you were so in love with someone that you can breathe, would you... Go back? Definitely not. Even without Steve, I think I still want that future. That is a great plan. You don't need a particular person just to have a plan. We, there's a stereotype that gr girls have planned their wedding before they were 11. Because they knew what plan they wanted. They didn't care about the wedding. They knew what plans they had. Like, I can say I've planned my future wedding you know, but I've planned my future. I've planned a plan for my future self. And that's what you need to know. I think that people think it's stupid when I talk about it. Exactly, exactly what I was just saying. It's your life. You can do whatever you want. No one should tell you otherwise. Hey, Shari, you made me feel a lot better. What are your plans after college? Do you want a family? Um... I mean, so selling down sounds pretty great. The thing is, I don't want to have a family straight after university. I want to live my life a bit. I want to, you know, I want to be able to do things that happen. And if I happen to have a child when I finish university or thinking about it, then that's completely up to me in the future. Um... And I don't care, you know, as long as I'm happy. It's all that matters. Okay, here's a good one. Would you ever date someone like me? Uh, I, I don't know. Well, uh, um, maybe? To be honest, it's a bit hard because I don't know you personally. Personally, it's a bit hard. Would you ever date me? Are you getting tired? No! It's hard because I don't know her personally. She could be... Um... You know, super sweet and kind, but just loves her heavy metal. Which is me, like... I love all types of genre. I listen to Nate Wants to Battle on repeat at school. So... People see me as this light, bubbly person, but I can be quite deep so it's hard to know a person just by typing or seeing them on a, a screen or by a phone or by a picture I want to get to know the person physically by spending time with them um but yeah I think I'm gonna agree with her and I don't want to lose her as a friend so I've kind of friend zoned her and I do apologize well it's getting late huh but I still want to shower before bed um Girl, you do you. I don't care. Yeah, I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna go, but tonight was really fun. We should do this again. Just, you know, get some things off our chest. And that's what my friends and I do. Every once in a while, we all sleep at someone's house and we just talk about anything we goddamn want. We talk and we yell it. We can scream at the top of their lungs and we talk about anything. And that's one of the greatest things about having my friends is that we can complain about each other in front of each other and it is damn okay. Um, and that's one of the greatest things about my friendship group. And it's a bit difficult because um, some of them are a bit shady. Well, not shady, but like a bit weird and, you know, um, 
Is it like MySpace? Oh, I wasn't around when MySpace was around, but that's a blast to the past. Blast to the past. Um, but yeah. So what was I saying? I don't know. But um, my friendship group. That's what it was. I love them to death, but the problem is, is that some of them annoy me. <laughs> and we all have that one friend that just annoys you so much. So. Emily's more. Emily is talking to Jara. Emily's the best. Emily is talking to Jara. The coolest kid on Eon. Oh, on Emily. Yeah. Huh. Okay, I can work with that. Boop, boop. Uh, it's finally done. Uh, send me a link. Send me a link. Don't make fun of it. Why would I make fun of it? You people have no trust. Uh, I'm gonna poke you. I remember when that was a huge thing. High school universe in a relationship. Oh. I'm bored, so let me do a question thing. Snow Patrol, nice. What movies do you like? The Departure, Ever Sunshine, Fight Club, never seen, seen Scrubs. Uh, for whatever you lose, like a you or a me, it's always ourselves we find in the sea. I like that. Poker, you have port Emily. Ask his friend. This is so smart. Oh no, this is what? Ah! So I'm gonna Jeff and that together. This is so cool. Like, you can go through all the people's stuff. That's so smart. Ah! Oh, it's complicated with Steve. Because Steve and Evelyn were friends. Oh, and she says signal. Ooh. I'm gonna poke you. Oh, I'm gonna poke you so much. That sounds a little weird, but I'll allow it. Huh, the poke war is on. Oh, I remember when I said poke wars with my friends. It, you should send me a... Uh, will do. So what are you up to tonight? I sent you a request, but whatever. Didn't reply. That's cool. I'm just going to stay in. Probably stay up late. Emily is away. Don't worry, I'm still here. Who are you hiding from? Oh, are you hiding from someone? And how did you do that? That's cool. How uh, you call me? I just don't want to talk to people. Do I have to beat up some poor person? Beat him up like bo bo bo. Jeff is just being kind of an arse. You know, I never really did like him. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe I've been bitchy tonight or something. I mean, you seem fine. I mean, you seem fine. What do you say? I can send you the chat log. Just don't show anyone. Of course, I promise. Of course, I promise I won't. Ellie wants to send you chat log. Accept file. 26 kilobytes. Oh, that's cute. To your desktop. What? No way. It's on my desktop. <laughs> look, look. Let's see if I can work this. Hold on. Oh my god. Work with me here. I'll show you. Look. It's right there. Right there. What? That is so cool. Sorry, now that officially ended my fangirling moment about how cool this game is. Let's just bring this up, shall we? How you doing? Good. Are you gonna load? Uh, I did. Sorry, I should probably write. Yeah, I did. Sorry, I forgot to reply. Um, chat log ain't opening though. I don't know, what do you think I was out of line? I would tell you if you're out of line if you were low. Ah, itchy nose, itchy nose, itchy nose, itchy nose. Runny nose, ew. 
Okay, what is happening? May open in same window. Like, where even is my internet? Here. Ha. Ah. No, what are you doing? What even is happening? I just want my thing to open. Open with Google Chrome. There we go. Okay, so this is the I am history. Hey Emily, what's up? Nothing much you nothing much, so when are we coming up? I don't know if I can tonight I just have a lot of homework to do. Can you just do it here? It's kind of project stuff. I don't really think I can come over. Come on, Emily, we have been planning this all week. I know I'm sorry. Are you really not coming over? I had a whole night planned for us. I don't think I can. Holy shit. Are you serious? WTF, Emily. Look, I'm sorry. I told you it might not work out. I didn't think we were. I didn't think you were serious. Well, I was. I really can't believe you. I think I'm gonna go. Whatever. See you leaving. Well, I'm agreeing with Emily. I don't think she was way out of line. She has homework. That's what needs to be focused on. And she said that might not work out. So she said there was a possibility. You were not out of line. You were, girl. You were definitely not out of line. You should be able to do whatever you want. Especially if it's homework based. Why are you even stressing? That's cool though. Yeah, I don't want to go over to that. Something, sometimes it's just hard being there. What? Why is, why is it hard? Why is it hard? Well, so I'm just going to see this. Okay, cool. I just feel like I'm expected to add a certain way when I... I have a burp and it's like right here and it's not coming up. So wait, I hate that. The problem solved though because I just faked being away and talked to you. I'm always here for you. Just remember that I'm always here. Thanks, Jara. Hey, random question, but what's your favorite game? RPGs. Hey, you're role playing games, right? Whoa, you remembered. Huh. I'm impressed. Uh, I mean, it is pretty obvious. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Do you know... Do you remember mine? I mean, these two. Of course I remembered. Forest. You know me where else, sister. I like role-playing games. And you know me. Hey, let's listen to some senioros together. Uh, I don't think I know them. Another one to add to my list. Also, a reminder, I did listen to Census Fail and Against Me. Census Fail is my favourite. Ooh, Lara Atlantic. Um, I, I, I will listen to it in a second. Sig Uh, It's great. This is great. Hey, let's listen to the album together. I have no idea what the lyrics mean, but the music always makes me feel so happy. <laughs> let's go to Iceland. I like this song from Iceland. Let's go to Iceland together. Um, but yeah, I get that. Like, I listen to a Spanish song and I love it. Don't understand a word it's saying, but it's just one of my favorite things is music can make you feel emotions but you don't have to know the words to understand that's why i love eurovision so much seeing different songs from around the world and you might not be able to understand but the music still carries everyone and i think that's such a great thing plus i just love eurovision it's just so fun it's the only event i can get behind really to be honest so i always thought it would be really cool to live in new york Personally, I've never been to New York. I don't really have the... I don't really want to go, but it seems expensive there. So, I... Oh, jeez. I bet that'd be expensive. Seems expensive and noisy and loud, so... It just doesn't seem like anything. Depends on where you live. I think I just want really to get out of here and go place totally new, you know? I understand. Like, I get that. You want to stay in New York after college? That's the question of the day. Why? This is why I can't sit in chairs. I just keep moving. But I don't know, plan that far can be a little silly. I mean, it's good to have a plan though. I'm a skeleton. 
<laughs> Stretch time. Yeah, but so much is unknown, you don't know. Oh my god, I just hit my light. Sorry, light. Hold on. You're my thing. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Why is everything falling apart? There we go. You okay, light? Oh, everything is falling apart. Alright, yeah. But, you know. You, but so much is unknown, you know. I really don't see myself settling down anytime soon. Like, right now, I don't even see myself honestly having kids. Um, like, ever? I mean, that's fine, too. I'm not really caring. I'm just saying, like, just asking. I mean, I don't know. I don't think so. That's cool. I just want to be able to take life as it comes, I think. Yeah, you just want to be wild and free. I wanna be young and wild and free. <laughs> Something like that. How about after close? Do you wanna settle down like right after? Uh, definitely not right after. Taking life as it comes. Sounds pretty good. Taking life as it comes, just the way it should go. Cool beans. Cool beans, mutual to maybe we could be roommates. I'd like that. I'd like that to be it'd be a blast. Talk back to me, not take it easy. It would be thanks for letting me talk about it. Whatever I talk about New York, Jeff gets so upset. Why does he get upset? He shouldn't be getting upset with you. It's not how couples work. You're supposed to be happy on both sides, like I guess he doesn't want me to go far away, but I think he knows I'll go without him. This is a big question I've been wanting to ask. Don't do this wrong way, but do you even like him? It seems like you're not liking him. Yeah, I do, but he's going through a real rough time. He just wants to be more of a serious couple. What do you mean? So they're both in couples, so I'm not going to end up with any of them, am I? This is pretty personal, so you can't tell anyone, okay? I swear to Xena and God. Whatever other god there is in Goddess. And Athena. Me and Jeff haven't had it. Why? You guys are like, what, 16, I'm guessing? I think he wanted to try it. Don't do it to make him happy. To make him happy. You guys are like my age. Why are you talking about this? This is making me gross. I would never. I'm just not ready for that with him. But it's okay. It's not like he's ever tried anything. Well, that's good. It's just kind of annoying to keep turning him down. Just be careful. It's okay to not want to. Okay, I feel weird. Like, I should have done it by now. I mean, screw that. Screw it, man. It's your life. Thanks, Jara. If you don't mind me asking, have you had it? <laughs> no. I have not. Oh, cool. Then we're in the same boat. Of course we are. That makes me feel a lot better. It's good to know. Thanks so much for talking to me about it. <laughs> of course. I like the bottom one. We charge by the minute. Because it's like a psychiatrist. That's smart. Thanks, this is a grand person. Or grand person. I'm sorry I saw so much of you and I just talking about random stuff. Honestly, it's been quite relaxing. Cowbell's in. Yeah, it has been. I really like talking to you about stuff. I feel like we're different now, but in a good way. Hey, I feel like we're different too. But in a good, in a good way. Can I ask you a kind of personal question? Yeah, of course. What is this, like 21 questions of personal? Why are you in a relationship? I don't know. I haven't really had the chance. I don't know. You just seem like such a great catch. Oh. 
do you think there could ever be like an us? I mean, from my perspective, Eternal Music is your favourite. We have the same outlook on life. Yeah, we both haven't had a serious relationship yet. Like, if I was single, huh? You're really a great person, okay? You should know that. Thanks. You're a great too, Emily. Huh. I like when you use my name. But I think we should figure out a nickname. Emmy! M. Millie. I like your name, Emily, though. M? No, M's Emma, so Emmy. How about Emmy? So I call my friend Emma at school M's. So, Emmy. I like it. Do you want me to call you something besides Jar? Um, yeah, I guess. Like, I mean, I'm not first. What will it be? Oh, I can pick. Damn. Um, I mean, J. J, it suits you. I like it. Oh, man, I think you need to go off the computer now. Oh, why? My mom needs to look at emails or something. Oh, is this the time when um, you only had one computer in the house? It was like those really big ones you used to share? Oh, that's cool. Thanks again for everything tonight. Hey, anytime. I'll talk to you again soon, okay? Talk to you later. Love heart! And that is awesome done. Winter is next. Tell me your heart doesn't race for a hurricane or a burning building. I'd rather die terrified than live forever. Well, that was chapter two done. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode slash chapter. If you did like it, let me know in the comments below and tell me what your favorite ch character has been so far. Emily versus Evelyn. My favorite character is Emily because I feel like I can connect with her a lot more. But Emily it is sorry for the 42 or 43 minute long video. I apologize. But anyway, see you guys in the next video. Sorry, cousin. Out. Let's bring him for various guys a hug. Bye-bye. See ya. 2017 is like a bad dream. This is 10 years now in the future. That's so weird. Because that's 2006, 2006, 2007. So that'll be 10 years into the future.